Hey there, all you peeps of YouTube. Thanks for stopping back into the channel today, right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. Now, yes, I know I've been gone for quite some time now, and I've taken a much needed rest and relaxation break from all the YouTube, social media stuff. I needed some family time, ended up finishing some stuff on the house, doing things on the property, vacations with families, the whole nine yards, and it was just a much needed break away from things. And I hope you guys didn't miss me too awful much. But you know what? We're back right here, and we're gonna be able to show you some really cool things before the end of the year. This is gonna be my niftiest lights of 2021. light that I'm going to be starting off with tonight is this one from Streamlight. So Streamlight, this is their Stinger Switchblade, the larger of the two Switchblade lights that they actually sell. Now this one you're going to be seeing sold on a couple of different trucks. I know Matco sticks their little sticker right on there, which is where I got this one, but you can also pick this one up a lot of different tool sources. But I personally think this is one of Streamlight's most versatile light that they actually sell and these switchblade styles are extremely popular right now just because this one is really thin it's not overly heavy it's not bulky it's not getting in the way and it has a lot of uh, different connecting points is what i really like so the switchblade to it opens up and the button's going to be on the inside it has three different light settings to it the first one you're going to click to is going to be their cool white it is the brightest white light that they have on the light this one's going to be 800 lumens and i personally think that this was probably one of the best ones for mechanics but i wish they would have put that light on this side because this is probably the side that gets used the most uh, facing down pointing at things uh, now if you're going to click the button twice one two that goes to their true color light spectrum light this is going to be for you body guys who are looking at all the minor imperfections or whatever it may be in paint, you're gonna be able to see those things as well as the different colors of color source is uh, a whole lot easier. That one's gonna be running at 600 lumens. Now the bonus feature on this one is that it does have a UV finding light here on the inside. Uh, obviously we're not you know, rating that one in lumens and it's not the brightest UV light that's on the market by far. I chalk that one up as a bonus feature to the light, if anything. Uh, the only negative downfall that I see to this light as of that focus is going to be the fact that the light doesn't shut off when I close the blade. I wish it did that one. I wish they had the little sensor, the uh, snap on e-carb and e-card lights, which is right here, which I'm going to get to in a minute. It does actually have that feature. Now, runtime wise, it's, uh, they say it's going to run right around 3.75, just under four hours. Personally, I see a max of about three and a quarter to three and a half hours of use on this one. And this one is actually a pretty fairly new light. It's not overly used, abused or anything crazy like that over, you know, a couple years. This one, because I lost another one, is uh, a fairly new light. So not too bad there. Now, charging wise is what I really like on this one. It can be either be charged by mini USB or micro USB on the back, or you get the option to where they have the charge points and they actually have a charger that can go to the back of your toolbox. It latches onto it. I'll throw up a picture right there. That's what it actually looks like. And as far as attaching points here on the bottom, you're gonna see multiple magnets along the bottom with rubberized coating. So you're not gonna be scratching a whole lot of things. And if you don't have anything magnetic to stick it to, of course, they have a nice little 360 swivel hook that comes out of the bottom that stows back away nice and flush back into your light. Uh, overall, like I said, weight is great. Now price wise, this one comes at a really good price too. 
If you're getting it from another retailer like Amazon, you pay about 72 bucks for the light alone, comes with the just cord charger. Or if you want the charging mount to put on your toolbox, the kit with that and the light and the cord is gonna cost you right at 92 bones. So for 92 bucks, this is probably one of my most used lights on the list. Next one, like we pointed out after the switchblade, is gonna be the Snap-on eCard 062 light. Now this light's been out for a couple of years now and it has become a favorite of a lot of guys that I know. It has the three main functions. Fortunately, this one does not have a UV light like the Switchblade does. That is one of the other little downfalls to it. Uh, it has two buttons here on the side. First top button is gonna be your spotlight on the very top. And that one's gonna be your 300 lumen setting light. One button turns it off. Now the next one is going to be where you can flip out the Switchblade. Uh, the first button is gonna turn one side on, second button press the other side, doesn't have any differences of color change or whatever in the light. And if you hit it a third time, it is a full like lantern, both sides lit. With a single side, you're gonna see be about uh, 600 lumens. They're saying with both sides beaming bright, you're gonna be seeing 800 lumens. So, yeah, whatever, nerd stuff, you know, it's kind of cool. Uh, the other cool thing that I pointed out from th that this one did not have was when you use this light, if you put it away, put the switchblade part away, the light actually shuts itself off. So there is a sensor within the light to be able to uh, kind of pick that one up. Magnet on the front, magnet on the side, uh, not as uh, really strong of a magnet on the side. The, the bottom is the main magnet portion of it. Uh, the other ne unfortunate negative to this one is going to be charging. There is no kind of uh, charging port, charging base, wireless charging, nothing like that. It is USB-C bi-directional port only on the side that you have to pull away this little weather weatherproof cover for. Pull that one off, um, three or four hours for a full charge on that one. Doesn't charge really quick. Now, lasting wise, it does charge uh, after a full charge, does hold out for about four hours of use, which I really like on that one. Uh, the other little feature that does have to it is the fact that you can uh, dim the light down and go back to the full light setting. Uh, when you go the other direction also. So you can adjust how much lumens you're using uh, for the battery power to maximize the time that you use it for. Other downfall to this one is gonna be the price on it. It is a pretty pricey light for what it is. This one's gonna be coming in at 168 bones. All those fancy features and the fancy snap-on name uh, brings the fancy $168 price tag with it. So if that's something you guys like, I do like the, uh, the fact that the Snap-on guy comes to my shop and if I break or crack this one within the warranty period, he's just like, yeah, here's a new one. So very cool that I like to support that one. But other than that, there's that for 168 bucks. Next on my Nifty Lights list of 2021, man, say that one three times fast. Nifty Lights list, Nifty Lights list, Nifty Lights list, yeah. Nifty Lights list of 2021, we've got the Milwaukee, I believe this is the 2367? Yes, 2367, uh, the small floodlight. Uh, this thing is run on the M12 lineup, which the batteries are plentiful. You can either get them from Milwaukee, which I would recommend, or there's a whole slew of aftermarket places to be able to get some of the uh, cheapo batteries for it, which, you know, they last okay, but they're super cheap and chintzy. But anyways, you get this one, 700 lumens, has one fairly strong magnet on the backhand side of it. Uh, does have a little port on the back for the job site workers where you can hang it on a stud uh, or I should say a nail or a screw on the wall is able to hang there. But the magnet is what we're going to be using it for most often. Me personally, I like to use this one for under dashes or underneath seats when I'm looking at fuses and things under the Chevrolet conversion vans. I just like laying it on its side and being able to put it where it's at. Uh, it has a, I'd say about a 90 degree uh, turn of focus for the LED lights and it is pretty bright at the 700 lumens. So you can press the button and just one time fade on, fade off. Uh, pretty simple little light, good to go. Uh, the button here on the top does show your battery indicator for whatever battery you might have in it. 
nice simple little light really uh, now this one you can pick up i would recommend picking it up with uh, without the battery because a lot of the kits have been overpriced because of battery prices lately and a lot of other bigger uh, places like home depot or toolnut run sales on just the batteries and charger units so my recommendation if you're going to get into the m12 lineup get the batteries and packs and stuff separate and buy tools only uh, the tool only on this one's going to run like 60 bucks which is pretty good for one of those lights very cost effective very easy to use not really overly uh, frilly or anything just plain works that's why i like using that one next two that i want to get into are the two from uh lead lenser LED L E N S E R. Uh, the company actually sent me a couple of lights for testing out of actually quite a few of them. And these were the ones that I picked out that I really liked and really liked to use the most or most cost effective and will actually work for the technicians in this channel. So the first one that I uh, ended up trying out was the IW2R. Now this one does have a plastic uh, kind of polycarbonate chassis to it. It's not steel or anything like that. But at the price tag of $49.95, 50 bucks, it is pretty good light. And this one comes at at 150 lumens at the brightest setting, which is gonna be the second button push right there. Also, this one is kind of a little pocket knife for you. So it does have the two side functions there for the brightness. You can stick this one in your pocket as an inspection light. Uh, also, this one does, if you hold the button down, it does have a little, you know, LED laser. Yeah, it's just a laser there kind of shining out. So a laser pointer for you. It does have an inches ruler on the one side and a centimeters ruler on the other side. I don't know, just something cool and nifty. I put it in and out of my pocket and it has not worn off the side. So that's a plus there for it. So a really nice nifty little light for 150 bucks. Only downside that I see to this one is gonna be the charging. It does have a plug in like seven millimeter straight jack that you do have to plug in on the very bottom of it. Now, when we get to the P4R work light that I got for uh, putting in my everyday work pocket. This is the one I use all the time. Uh, now this one I really like. First click, you're gonna get the uh, low light setting. That one's gonna be right at about 100-ish, 100 uh, 120 lumens. Uh, turn it off and turn it on again. Now that one's going to be a full 200 lumens and it is uh, directional aiming. You twist the end and you're able to aim the beam into a focused or more out wide light. I like this one. Very nifty, German engineering on this one. Uh, it does have the harder uh, whole chassis to it. It is metal. It does have the wireless charging. It's not like set it on a wireless charging pad, but it has magnetic little lead ends that you do put onto the side of it. Lasting wise on the brightest setting, this one is going to usually last me about the week before I have to kind of lock it back in and charge it. Like I said, with the metal, the steel frame on this one is pretty darn sturdy and I beat this one up quite a bit. And this one also can pick up for about 49, 59 bucks right around there. So in the way of pocket lights, these two were really fantastic. Now I'm gonna get into the rest of these being more of the specialty lights that I like to use around the shop. And from LED Lenser again is going to be their IF4R Music. Yes, that's the number that this one is, their IF4R Music. Now this is probably one of my weirdest but most favorite used light also. What I'm gonna be using this one for is it's a extremely uh, tough set of magnets here on the bottom. I can set it up against a rack on an arm or open up my cart and stick it on there. This big old LED light here on the front is gonna be spotlight beaming at 2,500 lumens. It's gonna light up the entire underside of a vehicle under a hood or wherever you might wanna put it. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of hook or anything to hook it onto anything. It does have a kind of hole in the bottom side of it to mount it to, I guess, a pole or a stand or something, but the, the LED light on this one is absolutely ridiculous. It's very nice. And on the back side, it's got a couple of different features as well. Uh, you got to see your battery state of charge. You can lock it, keep it from uh, 
you know, changing or adjusting. On top of that, this is also a fantastic speaker. Now it's very, actually, it sounds fantastic for a barn or a garage speaker. I would have to say I recommend this one. It matches really well to like the snap on uh, the 18 volt uh, where you can have it and it's a little battery case that you take it around with you. That little speaker right there. Um, now this one, it sounds just as good, but it's gonna last a little bit longer uh, than I think even the Snap-on one. So uh, usually when I'm using this one, if I use it on the lower setting of the light, it is an adjustable setting light, and just turn on some tunes, maybe use the light here and there. I'm gonna get some tunes out of this one for going on like, you know, four hours or so, which is really good for a speaker like that. Three to four hours. Uh, the battery charging on this one is gonna be the same little magnetic charge port that the smaller lights use on the back. It just kind of magnets and sticks right there to the back. It really, it's a fantastic light. It, it really is great. Now, yes, this is gonna be the most expensive light on the list, but for all the features and the high quality that it has, I think it's pretty worth it. This one's gonna be coming in right at 249, 250 bucks right there. So it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but I think that one's well worth it. If you're out on a job or you're under a car in your barn somewhere, having that 2,500 lumens of light and be able to rock out to your tunes, fully adjust the light angle wherever you're putting it. I think it's a great light for that price. What do you guys think? Let's hear it down in the comments below. Second to last light that we're coming to on the list. I'm sorry, I know we're kind of dragging this through, but these are pretty exciting. I like lights. Anybody who knows me, you know, I'm kind of a light whore. You see lights on the truck, you're just like, ooh, something shiny. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just, I love them. So this is a brand new one from Mac Tools. That's right, we got a Mac dealer coming to our dealership finally. So guess what? You guys are, might actually be seeing some Mac Tools come across this list. It's gonna be a really good uh, set of tools that could be able to see a lot of the difference from the Snap-on, Matco, and Mac. Uh, Milwaukee, anything else I ended up grabbing throughout this, but this is one of their new innovative lights. This is going to be their TL250M RC light. Now this is going to be like a pocket light uh, slash, you know, Swiss Army knife, knife kind of light also. Uh, going to have a pretty good set of magnets. It has a magnet here on the bottom. That one's going to be able to stick there. has a magnet on uh, the front side. So when it is flipped out, uh, you can magnet it to something that's going to stick right there. But the main attraction for this one is what it's supposed to be used for is going to be able to be put into your pocket. And it's just going to kind of come up and hang out and be able to twist, bend, articulate in whichever direction you guys need to use this one. It has a couple more little features hidden as well. Now it has two different light settings, both a 125 lumen and a 250 lumen setting. On the 125 lumen setting, uh, that one's going to be running right around six hours of runtime on the full charge. And on the full 250 lumens, this one's going to run for about three hours. I like to use this one for doing the little projects at like my workbench here or on the back of the car, doing some wiring, just the real little things that are right in front of me. This one being the pocket one, the other cool little feature that it has is that it has a motion sensor built into it. So it is on right now with nothing on. There's actually a little sensor in the front of it. So when I wave my hand across the light, it comes on. Hey, look at that one. I can put it on the lower, the high setting also for the motion. And when I don't want to use it, I just wave my hand back in front of it. Light goes out. How about that? And I can wave it around. Nothing's going to be turning on unless I come into proximity of it. Waving my hand turns the light on. Very easy for when I've got my hands dirty and like a valve body or a set of wiring. Something where I'm just buried and then enthralled in something and don't want to touch a whole lot of things. Having this there hanging out in my pocket, being able to light up what I need to, when I need to, is just a really cool thing. Very cool little light. Now this one's going to come in right at 92 bucks for the light that has this many functions to it. I'm going to say this is probably going to be one of the best deals on the list. I love using that one for the little projects when I get the chance to use it. I would definitely recommend you guys checking that one out from Mac Tools.
Now last but certainly not least is one of the newest and my most favorite light of 2021. This one is going to be the new Milwaukee 2126, whatever you want to call it, underbody crazy work light. Now this one only just came out probably a month or two ago and it's just now starting to get out into circulation. Uh, it does have a couple of really neat features. It has some really powerful magnets on the side of it. I hate when these lights put magnets that are just enough to hold the weight of the light. So every once in a while, if you accidentally nudge it, it might come off. This one, you stick it to the side of the toolbox. It's not coming off unless you really want to pry it mostly to the side, I would have to say, because it does have swiveling and articulating features. So if you try to pull it this way, it's going to, you know, kind of swivel and bend and move around. And that is the cool thing that it does is it swivels and bends and moves and twists around in all different ways. Now let's talk about the actual light itself. You would think size wise, it's going to match up to the other Milwaukee one that we tested earlier. That one's 700 lumens, but they supercharge this one because again, running on the M12 system, uh, if you get the tool with it ki kit that comes with this one, it's going to come with a four amp hour battery. And this one is going to come in at 1200 lumens. That's right. Not just a little 700, 1200 lumens. It does have a low and high setting also. So it can run at 600 or 1200 lumens, whichever setting you guys kind of want to set it at. Now, the other cool thing is if you have the four amp hour battery connected to this one, it is boasted as being an all day work light because it will work all pretty much all day that you need it to. If you put it on the low setting, this is going to run for 15 hours straight, 15 hours of light source. That's awesome. If you run it on the highest possible setting that this thing has, all 1200 lumens, it's still going to run for over five hours. They rate it at five. When I tested it, I got like five and a half. And then another time I got like five hours and 40 minutes. So over five hours of use out of this one. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Again, it can twist and turn, move, articulate wherever you need it to go up, down, around, twist. Wherever you want this thing to go, it's going to be able to put light in that source. The last little uh, teaser thing that they were able to put in here was a work tray surface, uh, especially when you're doing under vehicle work, you're going to be doing valve bodies or trans services. You've got a whole bunch of little bolts kind of hanging around. You've got it magneted up and facing up under this 12 inch surface against here in the middle of the light is a magnetic work surface holder. So all these little trays, and this is a big magnet here in the middle, it can hold all of the bolts and little pieces of hardware, whatever you need, all while you're working in the lights right there. Really awesome thing, I would have to say. This is probably one of my most favorite lights that I've come in to use over the last couple of years, and it's just awesome. Now, as far as price-wise, again, being that it has all these features and it comes with the, the awesome battery, if you get the whole kit, if you get the tool alone, you're gonna be able to pick this one up for right at 179 bucks. If you're gonna get the one with the four amp hour battery and a charger, it's gonna come in at 100 bucks more, 279 bucks. For a four amp hour M12 battery and a charger, if you guys don't have that in your lineup, that is a pretty good deal right now also with the crazy price that batteries are. I think that one's absolutely awesome. And uh, the Milwaukee underbody work light is my pick, my winner for the top light of 2021. Now, what I really want to hear is your guys's go on which lights are your favorites. Was it one of these? Which one of these was your favorites? Or if it's not on my list, let me know what was your absolute favorite out of your working in 2021. Let's see those down in the comments below. I'm really excited to see them. I don't know about you guys or not, but I am rocking, rolling. I am all hyped up, ready to go and get into some really cool new videos. Now, I wanna be able to hear exactly what you guys are wanting to hear about. Are you wanting to hear about more tools? Are you wanting to hear about the dealership life? Are you wanting to hear about the Rust Belt Ranch and the kind of stuff that I'm doing here? You know, I'm gonna take that into consideration a lot more here in 2022. I'm gonna be stepping my game up, doing a couple of videos a week coming into 2022. 
and we're gonna have some really cool projects coming down the line. Also, I'm super excited. Now, some of the other updates around here I'm gonna be getting into. I sold a couple cars, bought a couple things. I have a motorcycle now, so if you guys wanna get into some motorcycle repair, maintenance, building, we can get into that one. Or I still have the Duramax, and unfortunately, now it's got a broke transmission. Uh, my own fault. I ended up dynoing it. You guys saw it on one of the previous videos. Pulled almost 800 horsepower. This thing's a beast. And then all of a sudden, I think it gave up the uh, C3 clutch inside of it and just pff, done for. So we've got to tear that one out and apart. It's going to be exciting. So make sure you leave your comments down below to see where we're going to be going here over the next couple of months. I appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. All the descriptions as well as where you can purchase these, the links are gonna be down below. Some of them are gonna be affiliate links and of course they're gonna help out here on the channel be able to make better, greater content coming up for 2022. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I appreciate it and as always, you guys stay awesome.